Welcome to this how-to video. Today we're going to be walking through the save and load features in the 2020 Gen 3 display. These features are used when adding multiple implements to your display system, such as multiple planters, or when switching between planters to side dress bars to combines. We'll go through a few scenarios here on how to save and load the equipment. Saving and loading the equipment is helpful so that when switching from implement to implement, you don't need to enter all the setup values, whether it be the systems or GPS offsets and measurements, each time you go from one to another. To access the save and load features, we will go to setup and then equipment. Here you can see we're already set up for a John Deere 16 row 30 inch planter. If we would go to tractor measurements, we would also see that we're set up for a John Deere tractor. To save and load, we will scroll down on the right side to save load. Here we see that we have a saved planter already, a John Deere 16, that is our current planter. We also have a tab for tractors, and here we see we have two tractors saved, a John Deere and a Massey. To switch between planters or tractors, we simply go to load the new tractor, hit yes, and that new tractor is set up. We can do the same with planters. As we only have one planter set up currently, we will quickly go through and set up a new planter and save that and switch between them. From the equipment tab, we can change our planter make. We will call this a Kinsey 12 row, 30 inch. Under our planter measurements, we will change this to a single frame, drawn style, and we will go to save and load, and we can save current planter configuration. We will call this a Kinsey 12 row. At this point you can see we have two planters set up that we can switch between. Currently the Kinsey 12 is highlighted and if we'd like to go back to the John Deere 16 row we simply hit load. When we go back we see that we are now on the John Deere center trailing 16 row 30 inch planter. You can also update if you make changes. So let's look at this 16 row planner. And for this scenario, we'll assume that we made a mistake and we call this a drawn planter when it is in fact a two point hitch. We can change that. And then we will go in and update our saved configuration. We've now updated that configuration. Moving on, we'll show you how to change your implement type. So as your season finishes and you move the 2020 into a different implement, like a side dress bar, we can go to implement type and change to side dress bar. This is a warning encouraging you to save your configuration, which we've already done. So we'll go ahead and continue. At this point, we have a side dress bar, 16 row, that we've already set up. This is our only one, so it will automatically load. If you have multiple in here, you can go ahead and load whichever one you are in. At this point, we will switch to our Massey tractor, assuming that's the tractor that we'll use for side dress. Now at this point, we are set up for our side dress bar. Going back to equipment, we can also switch to our combine for the next season. Again, we've saved, we hit yes. And here, we wanna to go to our save and load. And we'd like to load our combine head, which is an eight row case head. And we wanna go ahead and load our Case IH 7140. At this point, we now have our combine set up for the 7140 with a Case IH 8 row 30 inch head. 
If you have further questions about saving and loading equipment or switching implements, please contact your Precision Planting Premier dealer or contact product support. Thank you. Thank you.